Let's jump right in. Uh, you just wrapped up your meeting with Carrier. Uh, what can you tell us? How, how would you describe that meeting? What did you learn? Well, serious and candid, I, I just laid out my feelings uh, on all this. The way they rolled this out, I think, was despicable, and they acknowledged it. Uh, it was a terrible rollout uh, and a disservice to the people who are working in the plant uh, and to Indiana. Uh, I tried to convince them, <laughs> is there anything that we can do to, to rethink this thing through? Uh, and they made it clear that over this next three years period of time, they're going to be shifting uh, out, out of Indiana. Um, we then went to uh, the reasons why and uh, what they can do for the workers at this point. But the way they rolled this out was uh, shocking. I've seen the video of it and it was cold and cruel and uh, not empathetic at all. I, I feel for the workers and the impact of this, who this longtime Indiana resident company now is leaving uh, they had counted on a career there, and so um, uh, the carrier needs to do everything they can in this transition period over three years to provide them with training, provide them with the right kind of pay, severance pay, uh, transition pay, training, education, et cetera. And I really laid it on the company saying, you've got a responsibility here once you've made this decision. If you're not going to change it, oh, plus, you've got to give money back to the taxpayer that Indiana put forward and that the federal government, the tax credits that they put forward, and they pledged that they would do that every penny. Now, they've also talked in publicly about, um, in, in their meeting with Governor Pence and in public statements, that federal regulations are pushing them to have to move the work out of the U.S. Yeah, I pushed um, them on that. It, it, it's more than that. Uh, they went through a, a number of reasons. I'm not sure how it all came down to the federal regulations. Uh, it's clear that under this administration, we've overregulated business. We've overtaxed business. We're not competitive around the world. And these are factors, but it's only two of several uh, factors. And they acknowledged that that, that, uh, that regulation issue is it's more than that. Uh, there, there's some responsibility the federal government has to bear here. Under the Obama administration, um, the, the Energy Department and all the agencies have doubled down on ideological decisions, environmental purity decisions that uh, don't take into account the cost benefit, don't take into account the jobs that people have, uh, and that needs to be changed. That's clear. But there's more involved in this with, with Carrier, and we went through all those issues. Senator Donnelly, when we talked to him last week, suggested that Carrier, along those same lines, wasn't being completely honest about the reason and saying that they were chasing, in his words, Mexican wages at $3 an hour. After your meeting, is that a fair assessment of, of the situation? Obviously, wages were a factor. Uh, they said that uh, being the cost of business uh, because of overtaxation and regulation was a factor, and they didn't have many options to turn to uh, uh, from uh, on wages. I think it's bigger than that. We see a lot of companies uh, leaving the United States for various reasons. Uh, I think it's too much government, uh, too much uh, regulation. Um, uh, but nevertheless, I think there's a responsibility on the part of companies here to do everything they can to work with the state, to work with us in terms of what can we do to have, make it possible for you to stay involved in our state. And that's where they really let down. This company let down. It, it should have come to the state. They should have come to our office. They should have come to somebody and basically said, we got a problem here so that we could say, well, let's work on that. Let's see if we can figure it out that, so that you can continue to produce here. Uh, we don't want these people out of work. They're, they, you produce a great product. Uh, that's because of the great, of great uh, employees uh, and solid work coming out. of. So, so that was the big issue here and not coming to us first saying, is there a way we can keep you here? Well, the final question for you, Donald Trump has certainly made an issue of this, suggesting that 35% tax on any carrier product coming back into the U.S. It, it, you can understand where that touches a nerve with people at home saying, sure, do that. But, it, it, you know, we've talked to others who say a person would be impossible to do, and it could be a really bad policy overall. Well, we, yeah, we live in a global economy now. There, these things are going to be produced in the... the company that has the lowest price is going to be able to sell their product. And so it's, it's more complicated than anything Donald Trump has put out. I know he touches a raw nerve on this. And yes, I mean, this is an issue we ought to look at. But there's more complexity to this issue in a global economy when people can make these things in Europe or make them in Mexico or make them in China and then 
go to Walmart or wherever and sell them for a much cheaper price, which benefits the consumer. So the problem with Donald Trump is it's, you know, it's, he says things that trigger people's emotions, uh, but he doesn't have policies to back up in terms of whether or not it'll work. And so uh, that's what we're going through with these primaries. I know it's been a very busy day for you. I really appreciate you taking sure. time at the carrier meeting to, to talk to us. And look forward to seeing you in Indianapolis. Thank yeah. you. All right. You'll Thanks. do that frequently. Mm -hmm.